Hi guys, Amber here for Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, November 8th, 2016. I don't want to talk about it today. Um, let's just not. Um, so, craft stuff. That's why you're here, that's why I'm here. That's what we want to talk about. So, I have been quite remiss in mentioning a crafty thing. Um, a few weeks ago, as you guys know, my mom's new book, Stories in Sepia, came out, and um, I uh, I'd done something when uh, Murder in the Library came out, and um, my mom really liked the idea, so I went to our fearless leader, Jennifer, to ask for her assistance, and she very kindly helped me out, um, and she made some really cool buttons with the book cover of Stories, Stories in Sepia on it. I would show you, but the only picture I have right now is on my phone, and it doesn't translate well onto the screen, so I will put in a photo at the end of these awesome buttons she made. Um, I wear mine on my lanyard, and I don't bring my lanyard upstairs. I keep it with my purse so that I'm never without it when I go to work. If I brought it upstairs, I would forget it, and I wouldn't be able to get into work, and while that's not an altogether terrible thing, they'd be really unhappy if I didn't come into work because my lanyard was at home. So, anyway, um, so stay tuned for the end because that's there. Uh, but last week was week five, something like that, of the Fantastic Beast Quilt Along. So I have some blocks to show you. I have the Salamander. I have a Kneesel. And yes, I did say Kneesel. I know it's a Kneesel, but I like Kneesel better. I have a Bundamun, creepy little thing, it's kind of like mold, really, that's what it looks like, um, nothing, that's not against Vanda at all, no, no, not against Vanda at all, no, it, the, the thing is supposed to look like that, I told Vanda if I ever found mold with eyeballs in my house, I'd light a match and burn it down, so, it's kind of sad because all my craft stuff's in here. And last but not least, but the Antipodian Opali, which, as you can see, I did on a purple background. Um, and this one was probably one of the hardest blocks I've ever done. Um, not only for the sheer amount of pieces on here, I think it goes through like something like AR, which is, you know, quite a few pieces. Yeah, it looks like AR's the last one. There's some very, very tiny pieces. And actually, as I started to do some of these, I had I don't normally take the back off of fabrics until they're in the blocks. But I had to on these just to be able to um, get the paper out. So, and I just noticed there might be a slight hole. Maybe it's just see-through there. So anyway, um, this one, uh, it was funny because this gave me such a fit. Um, when Vanda sent me the pattern, it, I, it was colored, and it was colored right, but for some reason I didn't like write things on there, which I don't always do. So I had misstacked a couple of my colors, because what I do when I'm doing sewing is I will take the piece... And if there are three parts to that piece, I will take the three pieces of fabric and stack them up one, two, three, so they're in the right order. And I don't know what happened, but I was actually sewing this piece all together and realized that I had um, miscolored something. That's very obvious. It was like, like maybe this triangle piece way down here, which is teeny tiny in the neck, and but it was purple because I had put background fabric in the middle of the neck. Um, so it had to come out. Uh, so I was trying to figure out how to do it. And at one point, I think it was this piece right here with all the spikes off the head, I realized I had done something weird um, and had to completely redo it. Like, pull all the pieces off and redo it. Um, because I think like the second piece 
or something. And it was totally my fault. Absolutely not a design fault. It was totally my fault. I wasn't paying attention when I was putting it together. So, um, but people don't seem to be having nearly as much trouble with it as I had. Um, but maybe that's why I'm a pattern tester. So, um, yeah, that's what I have for blocks to show you. Um, I actually have tomorrow off. Um, I work Saturday and so I have tomorrow off and I am hoping to at least get some pattern pieces cut and maybe some fabric cut. Um, I have a hair appointment at 2.30 um, which is actually fairly early for me to go get my hair cut again so I'm hoping he's not going to want to cut it and maybe he'll play with the color a bit because uh, yeah it's it's a little dull for me so I need to spice it up a bit. Um, as far as, uh, I know I show you guys a lot of my pops. I actually got a bunch of new pops in the last couple weeks. Um, I got Hot Topic had four. I showed you the Harry and Ron in the Christmas sweaters. Um, they also released Bellatrix in her Askman outfit and Lucius with the Death Eater mask on. I actually found both of those at Hot Topic when I was out shopping over the last week and the funny thing was is they're at Hot Topic and they're on the shelf like 10 feet off the ground. I'm only 5 foot something. I mean 5 foot and change not even 5 1 on some things depending which you know high chart you're going by. And so I actually stood there in the back of the store with my hands over my head doing grabby fingers um, and a staff person saw me and went and got them out of the back for me. Um, unfortunately, I know that the next wave of Harry Potter ones are going to be coming out pretty soon. And there's like eight or nine in that. So, uh, the Strawberry Shortcake set that I'm collecting, I was one short on that. Ha, <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake. Um, but I am pretty sure my mom ordered that for me for Christmas, so I'm not worrying about that. I had one more Fantastic Beast to get, and my twins' mom found that so I'm gonna get that and that just I think that just leaves the Harry Wave 3 for me to get um which is exciting because I don't really plan to buy any more sets still haven't found uh Dumbledore in the little mini boxes yeah which is really frustrating because I have purchased I don't even want to think about how many I've purchased probably 50 or 60 of those little buggers um and the Dumbledore one there's there's like a certain order to how those things are put in the box and so if I find a new box I always know which one to buy and there's like four or five different ones that are in this one spot so they're all kind of rare but not really um, and I have managed to find some of the rarest ones multiple times and I can't find the freaking Dumbledore which is supposed to be not rare it's hard to find but not rare getting a little frustrating. I got the special Dumbledore. I think that was a Hot Topic one or a Barnes & Noble one. I forget. But um, just the standard box. <sighs> so frustrating. So frustrating. In fact, the there's one with Yule Ball Hermione. I have found not one, not two, but three of those. Can't find a freaking Dumbledore that appears in more than those. And, brr. So, anyway, um, that's my ramblings, that's my rants. Uh, I want to wake up to a better tomorrow. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to bed now. Well, not really, I'm going to go lay down. And, um, wish me luck on trying to get something done tomorrow and not be sick with drive for the rest of my life. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.